Greetings everybody, people call me Iggy for some reason, and this is Demon's Crest. Now Demon's Crest is part of a series of spin-offs of the Ghosts and Goblins series, and that spin-off series is called Gargoyle's Quest. The first two games in said series aren't as well known because I don't think they're as good. And this one though is very good in my opinion, but not like that's well known either. Anyway now, have a look at this title screen, because I say it is kick-ass. Lovely, isn't it? Anyway, let's get started right away so I can show you the game, alright? And the story so far. We are Firebrand, one of the red gargoyles from the Ghosts and Goblins games, which are so much of a pain for a lot of players. So, last thing we did was basically we got pretty badly injured when fighting a dragon, but we managed to kill that dragon. This is that dragon. It's now zombified, and I guess it's our job to kill it for good. Of course, there is more to the story than that, and we might get into that a little more as we go, but for now, if you wanna know more, just watch the intro, it's a separate video. <laughs> so the game drops us right into our first boss battle, and predictably, it's not very hard. The strategy is to shoot at its face until it dies, and to do that we need to understand such basic platforming mechanics as jumping and shooting, which we are using to great effect right now. And look at that, it looks like we already won. Of course, we can't just open the door like a normal person. To be expected, we're a demon. But hey, look at this, oh, look who's coming back for more. And now, I said we can jump and shoot, but there's something even more amazing in our repertoire. We can hover if we just press the jump button again. And after three more hits, well, he's, he's dead for good, I guess. And we get our first health up. We now have one more of those red dots in the top left. And now, it is time to explore the amazing world of Demon's Crest, and headbutt a bunch of shit. We can headbutt, but the only things in the background. We can, for instance, destroy those statues here, which will give us some pickups for health or money, who knows. Maybe we will also solve some puzzles with it later, or it will be a mini-game. Ah, but anyway, this game has a lot of secrets and stuff to collect, and we're gonna see it all, because to see all the endings in the game, we need to 100% it. Inside this statue here, what's the first thing we need to collect? It is a vellum. It means made from calf skin. It's a piece of parchment, and later we can inscribe magic spells on it. Ah, ominous um, music kicking in, and a statue in the middle of nowhere. I wonder what this could mean. Why, of course, another boss fight. This is a mini-boss. The Hippogriff is one we will encounter multiple times throughout the game, and he isn't particularly hard. The best strategy is to stay close to him and just mash the fire button, because there can only be one fireball on screen at the same time. And of course, if we are closer to him and fire repeatedly, we'll be able to fire a lot faster. This is something that helps against a lot of bosses, but some have invincibility frames. This one hasn't. And we're using that to our advantage. He goes down rather quickly that way. He essentially only has two attacks, shooting feathers and charging. I only got hit because I stayed so close to do more damage. But yeah, for winning, we get another health up. Usually the mini bosses drop health up while the major bosses drop some more interesting items, but there's exceptions, of course. Anyway, Demon's Crest uh, is a, well, kind of a Metroidvania type game. It's not very apparent right now, 
Although calling it that might give the game a little too much credit because the levels themselves are mostly linear. But there's a lot to discover in them, the game's very exploration heavy, but it's pretty much all optional. However, if you don't explore at all, you will only get the worst ending of the game. Speaking of exploration and discovering things, down here is what appears to be a bottle. The game calls it an urn, and the background behind it is that the urn used to be the thing that the Undertaker drew his powers from until he started drawing it from the fans instead or some shit like that. But yeah, in this game we can use the urn to fill potions inside them. We will mostly use them to heal ourselves, but they also have other uses. We'll see that later though. For now though, uh, let's enjoy the music in the background, because this is hands down my favorite track in the game. It's awesome, isn't it? By the way, we'll never have to come back to this area except for this there, because we can't destroy those blocks yet. In the future though, we will be able to do just that, and then we'll be here and get our life up. Now this here is a full healing pickup, usually happens before a boss, so guess what this is? This is Arma, another boss we will encounter multiple times, but this time he's actually plot relevant. If you care for his motivations, just read what he's saying. He will be our rival for the remainder of the game, basically. And at least in this encounter, he isn't too tough. He has two attacks, he can shoot lasers and he can dive attack. Now the laser, no problem to dodge unless you're really close for some reason. Which isn't really recommended because he actually has an invincibility period after you hit him. The dive attack though can be fairly difficult to dodge at times. Uh, because it's always a different duration, a different angle, a different speed, so whether you want to duck under it or jump over it is completely up to you. And what's the best course of action might differ as well. Now, since we're gonna see him again, of course, he was obviously just testing us or something. That's how those rival types do it, right? And of course, he drops us something nice, whether this is intentional or an accident. As of now, is completely unknown to us. But this is in fact our first crest and it will allow us to transform into a different form. But I'll show you that in the next video. When we fly across the world map to find a new location to explore. For now though, I hope you enjoyed this little video. See you next time.